Right now, our next guest has written an incredible 15 New York Times bestsellers, including favorites like In Her Shoes, Mrs. Everything, and Big Summer. Now, Jennifer Weiner's new book, That Summer, is being called the It Read of the Summer. And good to have Jennifer back with us here on Good Morning America. And allow me to begin by sending you our condolences and our love. We know that your beloved mother passed away recently and you have been sharing uh, the important lesson that she taught you as a way of honoring her. Can you share with us what that lesson is? Yeah, so my mom was never skinny her entire life, and she was always active. She was a hiker and a biker and a skier and a swimmer, and she taught me how to move through life in a larger body and just use your body as a tool as opposed to something that you've constantly got to beat yourself up about and, and try to change. And. For so many women, there's so many toxic messages we get about weight, and, and their home is just one more place where they get to see, you know, maybe a mom who's always dieting, or a mom who says, oh, I was so naughty last night, I'm gonna have to be on the treadmill for hours working off that piece of chocolate cake, and I never got that. I got a mom who was just active and out in the world, and I'm, I feel so lucky because I know so many women don't get that. And when people ask me, why do you have plus size characters in your books? Why is it important to have those women and to have them get happy endings? That's really the reason why is I, I'm trying to be the Fran I want to see in the world. <laughs> uh, now, it sounds like certainly your mom played such a role maybe in, in these. There's something they refer to out there called the, the Jennifer Weiner uh, classic heroine, right? They they know your yeah. characters that you that you write about. Um, why is that? Mm -hmm. Why is it important? It seems like you stay in your lane in a lot of ways. Well, I mean, I think it's it's a so Toni Morrison, who I was extremely lucky to take a class with back in college. She used to say that if there's a book that you need to read and it's not on the shelf, you've got to write it. And when I was a young woman, when I was a teenager, I needed stories where there were girls like me. You know, maybe they were struggling with weight or body image or self-esteem or dysfunctional families or horrible boyfriends, and. I, I needed stories where those girls triumphed in the end, where they found their happy endings and they, they stayed true to themselves. And um, those are the books that I've written. And, and luckily, people seem to dig them. <laughs> they sure do, the New York Times. <laughs> Thank since, goodness. <laughs> since you're the undisputed boss of the, of the summer read, of the beach read. Uh, but tell us about what, what were the issues driving that summer? What are the issues driving this book? You know, so I wrote this book start to finish during the pandemic, and I obviously was thinking about escape and, you know, being stuck in my house with my husband and my kids who are going to school virtually. I wanted to write about someplace delicious, and Cape Cod is one of my favorite places in the world. I wanted to take readers there, even if it was just on the page. Um, but I was also, I, I have an 18-year-old daughter. I'm getting ready to send her out into the world, which of course got me thinking, what's the world like for young women? Is it still the way it was when I was 18 and just starting out? How has it changed? Has it improved? What still needs fixing? All of those issues, and they all sort of um, stirred themselves into a, <laughs> into a story that became that summer. What more are you hoping that people will take away from the characters in your book? You, yeah, you know, I want people to think about the journey that these women are on. It's it's a story about two women, Daisy and Diana. They have this sort of meet cute thing where um, Daisy starts getting Diana's emails and they become friends. And they're both sort of looking at each other as like, she's got the life that I want. Um, Diana is single and, and glamorous and travels the world. And Daisy has a family and a house in the suburbs. And they're each sort of looking at each other like, you know, the way that I think many women look at friends is like, you know, that's a road I could have taken, that's a choice I could have made. Um, you know, I, I want women to think about the journey that we're all on, and again, the world we're sending our daughters into, what is that world like, and what can we, what still needs to happen to make it better? Yeah, amen to that. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. You're very welcome. Uh, you, t you take care. And that summer. Thanks for having me. You always. That summer is available right now.
hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.